Okay, so here is this very rare book. That was the first one. I hooked up with Stuart Brand and I, and I became the shelter editor of the Whole Earth Catalog and I learned how to make books. The first book I did was this one here, Dome Book One. And, the, and this book sold out immediately, 5,000 copies, and then we went back to press with this one here. Have you, see, have you seen Shelter? I then did this book here, and then this book has sold about a quarter of a million copies now. And the interesting thing is now, younger people are really interested in all this stuff. The book that we're doing on tiny homes now, there's this huge interest right now in, uh, in tiny homes. Scaling back in the 21st century. Good title. I mean, that won't be the cover of the book, but... I was just fiddling around with that. Yeah. And see, see this here? This is, the, this is the whole book in here. Here's the capsule one I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. Here's this capsule. 600 bucks a month. You know, the community kitchen and, um, you know, a place to sit at the, you know, in a washroom and a locker. But so this whole big, you know, this whole section right down here is, this is all, this is all the pages out of the book. This one, I like this one. This is in a backyard in Portland. Built by a woman. Living roof. Drains down into a oak bucket that's got goldfish in it. You know, here's just an old normal house, you know. This is in... Uh, so, you know, that's, that's, I really like that idea. This is Jay. Here. You know, these are some of the last pages that we're putting together. Any rights in here? Why do they cost so much? I mean, this, these little things are like one-person cabins, and they're like forty to fifty thousand dollars. But you know, he explains why they're why they're so expensive. Why? Well, because the certain the core, the plumbing and wiring and bathroom and sink and all that stuff is the same for a tiny house as it is for a, a big house. It's, he says it's cheap to add on square footage, but you've got certain costs you can't get away from you know, no matter what size it is. And plus, they're, they're built very nicely. You know, they're really built uh, good materials and well, you know, well, good craftsmanship. And, you know, I mean, on the other hand, I've got a guy who's got a place he built in, a, in the backyard of his uncle's house for $200. Here's, here's, here's a here's a beauty here. It's the inside of a tree house. Tiny tree house. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of uh, this whole tiny house as a sort of movement? Well, I think the fact that, you know, things are not good in the economy and they never are going to be anymore. And also, it, what, it, what Jay said here, he said, um, the key to designing my happy home really was designing a happy life. And the key to that lay not so much in deciding what I needed as in recognizing all the things I could do without. I don't live a very simple life. I don't have a very, I've got quite a few uh, square feet under roof around this place. We, you know, to run a homestead like this, we need a lot of tools. You know, growing a lot of our own food Potatoes. So I'm not following the example of tiny of a f under 500 square foot house, but I think if you're young or if you've been laid off or sweet peas, you know maybe you're not going to have a 400 square foot house. But I think people are going to look at this and they say, well, maybe I could get by with a smaller house, you know. Or if, or if, if you're young, you think, well, if I can avoid paying rent and and paying money to a bank, I can. My life's going to be a lot freer. So maybe it's a stage you would go through. And also maybe you build a small house and you're going to add on to it. You know, that's what we said in, in Shelter in 1973. We said, build your, get your kitchen and your bathroom back to back and your heating and everything in a core and build that first and live in it. You know, you have a roof over your head and then you can start adding on. You know, it, it's like self-sufficiency. It's maybe you can't go all the way, but you can get the idea, you know, maybe it's time to cut back. And, or maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay, or maybe if things just get too, too tough, I 
give it up. I sell what I've got here and build a camper on the back of a truck and live on the road for a year or something. So I think on a lot of levels it's it's hitting people the right way.